So the Pittsburgh Steelers are finalizing a trade for Jacksonville Jaguars linebacker Joe Schobert. And I believe from what I saw on Twitter, it's going to be a sixth round pick, I think. Easier a fifth or a sixth rounder going back to Jacksonville for Schobert. Now, most Steelers fans know him from his time with the Cleveland Browns. He was there for four years before ending up in Jacksonville for a Pets past season. Ironically, this past season was his worst year. That's probably not ironic at all. But this past year was his worst season. Both in coverage and I think in general as a whole. That peak stretch for him was 2017, 2018, 2019 with Cleveland. Hopefully he gets back to that form in Pittsburgh. Now, why did the Steelers feel like they need to make a trade like this? Well, Robert Spillane, who filled in for Devin Bush last year when he was hurt, we had Vince Williams and Spillane in the lineup. Now, of course, Vince Williams is retired. Devin Bush is coming back. Spillane was going to fill in. Uh, did not look good in the preseason so far. I don't think it's all about preseason, though. Obviously, they can see these guys in practice every day. So you see what he's doing in practice. You see what he's doing in the preseason. And you know you have years of previous experience with this guy to base these evaluations on. And while Splane has been good in the past, had some good games, had some good preseason reps last year, he's just not a starting every down linebacker. You can't put him out there for 16 games a year as a starter. You just can't do it. It won't work. It will work in short stretches. It won't work in extended stretches. Now, Grant Splane had a very good year last this past season filling in for uh, Devin Bush when he got hurt. But he was not... He wasn't dominant. He also had his own injury issues. I think that putting him in full-time as a star would be a mistake. And someone like Joe Schubert has had high-level seasons in the past, who's been a pro bowler in the past, who has, of course, struggled at times in coverage this past season mostly, but has also been elite in coverage going back to, of course, 2018. Getting someone like that for what was a sixth round pick? I mean, really, you're not going to get a player of Joe Schobert's caliber most of the time in the sixth round. So just go out and trade that pick away. Because frankly, especially the way Pittsburgh's been drafting lately, you're not going to find a guy like that in the sixth round per se. So, not that Pittsburgh would even wait to take a linebacker in the sixth round. We would have to trade for the first round to do it. <laughs> you know, I'm just joking around. You know Pittsburgh always likes their first round linebackers. But getting Joe Schobert to me is a, is a huge upgrade. Pittsburgh, we also get to move Splane now into the backup role, where he can come in now if we need him to, if someone gets hurt again, which I really enjoy. Because with, I mean, we have that depth now. We have a player we know we can trust for short stretches or start a few games here and there. And now we can have him be the backup and come in whenever something happens. So that's great security to have a guy in Splane who we know can do stuff, like I said, in short stretches or for a few snaps a game. Have him on the bench be able to come in and play him if someone gets hurt, especially someone like Devin Bush at this point who's dealt with you know, a significant injury now coming back from that. Uh, you have to enjoy having that depth around there. It adds an extra layer of security. And for Pittsburgh, you need that. Because once you have guys go down like we did last year, where we had a bunch of guys go down last year, you know, after that season, you should learn your lesson. You need to have that. You should learn your lesson. Excuse me. You should have that depth ready to go. And now we do. And it was for a very low cost at this point. So I think that's a great move by Pittsburgh to be able to add in. A player has been a high-level guy in the past, possibly been a top-10 linebacker in the past. Bring him in now, and we'll see if we can get him back to that top-10 level. Hopefully we can. He's, he brought up a good point. He gets to play behind a dominant defensive line in Pittsburgh right now. Guys yeah, like TJ Watt, Cam Hayward, Tyson Olulu, Stephon Tuitt. Uh, and I have a lot of faith right now that that other linebacker spot is going to work out pretty well. we got Ingram there. we got Highsmith there. Even Quincy Roche. I think I feel really good about the depth there in that spot opposite T.J. Watt, so defense is shaping up to look pretty good right by now. I feel very confident. Uh, the one thing that really has to come together for this all to work is Devin Bush has to be much better than he's been the past two seasons. Now, Grant guys like Shazier, Lawrence Timmons, they really wait until the third season where they have those breakout years where they prove they're capable of starting, but Pittsburgh also kind of pumped the brakes on those guys as well. They gave them more time to adjust the NFL before throwing them into the fire. You know, I guess they didn't throw them into the fire at all. It was a gradual adjustment to the NFL for those guys. Uh, Devin Bush was thrown there immediately. So let's not be so hard on him. Let's not overreact to a couple of preseason games. Let's just wait. He's been a below average linebacker so far through the first two years of his career. That's not an overstatement. He's been below average. It's pretty easy to see. No matter, like, you can point to the tackle data and say, oh, look at all the tackles. Tackle data is not conducive to explaining how well a player played. You can give up a 15-yard run and tackle the guy from behind. It still goes in as one tackle, you know. So Devin Bush, to me, has been uh, slightly below average linebacker so far during his career in the NFL. But again, we've had Steelers linebackers who turned the corner during that third season in the past. I think Devin Bush is certainly capable of that. And really, we've seen him for, what, 
really a year and a half, not even because of the injury this past season. So let's let's be patient here, guys. Devin Bush has time to develop. He's going to have a great defensive form ahead of him. He's going to have a veteran linebacker as a former pro bowler next to him. He's going to have some decent guys in the secondary, along with Minka Fitzpatrick, Terrell Edmonds, who's coming off a career year. Uh, Joe Hayden's still around. So we're going to have some good continuity there to help him out as well. And some good leadership. So defense is looking up. I really like this Joe Schobert trade. Uh, we didn't give up much. We got a good player from him. We got, definitely got an upgrade. And linebacker did looking great. Defensive line looking great so far. Some questions in the secondary. I'm not going to lie, but we'll see how it all plays out. Can't wait to get to meaningful football in week one.